Hello and welcome back to another video. This is part three in the Transport of the Rescue Restoration series. Um, there's been a bit of progress since the last video. I'll uh, I'll pan down and, and show you what I've been up to. You can see for a start that the uh, the harnesses are still out of the game. I did in the end decide to cut the uh, lamp harness away from the from the playfield so I could just clean it easier. So all three harnesses are out there. I still have the job of sitting down and, and cleaning all of those. Um, that's probably one of the next jobs I do actually. Um, but, so they're out. But then in terms of the actual playfield, then we can see I've run over the back of this uh, with an orbital sander. There was some, it wasn't too bad, but there were a few areas where there was dirt sort of ingrained into the wood. Um, because I've left the uh, stapled in lamp parts on, so you can see like this here, I haven't been able to sand everywhere because obviously if you take the sander over that, it'll just ruin it. Um, but all of the areas where, especially down the bottom here, where there, were, there isn't any wiring, um, I've run the sander over the top of it just to get it back to a, a slightly cleaner and better state. The, this top corner of the playfield is very odd. It's got some weird sort of grain and staining in the wood um, that I wasn't able to get out. And I didn't want to sand too much. Um, obviously, just, the idea is just to clean it up a bit, not to, not to make it look brand new. Um, the playfield's coming along okay. I actually re started refitting a few parts. So the, uh, the brackets here and the brackets at the far end, are, I've refitted just now because I'm going to put the playfield back in the game for a bit so I can work on, on the other side. Um, other things I've done on the playfield, so all of the inserts, this will not show up on camera, all of the inserts um, I've cleaned out with uh, glass cleaner and uh, Q-tips. Um, so they're all nice and clean. And then I've also I had a go at just at reseating this insert here. It's better than it was, so it was a bit low, it sunk a bit in the playfield. But the reason I've discovered is actually the insert's got a crack in it and it's got a bit of damage. Um, so it's better, but it's not perfect. I'm stopping work on this now because I'm, what I'm a bit worried about is if I keep heating it up and tapping on it, I'm actually going to break the insert, and I really don't want to do that. Um, I'll flip the blade field over, uh, and you can see again, I've gone over this uh, with a few sort of passes of cleaning. It's had a good foam cleaning. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, a bit of Nobus too, but the the main job I'm going to clean it more when it's when it's back in the game and polish it up a bit. There's no wax or anything on this yet, but the main job I did while it was out with uh, Nobus three and Q-tips and it was very dull. It was all around the edge of where the mylar is. You're probably not going to be able to see it on the video, but there's a mylar here. Over the years, dirt gets into sort of the edge of the mylar, just like jammed up against the edge, and makes like a black line, so you can see really easily where the mylar is. Um, I went round with Q-tips and scrubbed all that out. Um, it didn't. There's a few places where you can still see it, but in most of the main areas, uh, all that dirt's out now, so it just looks just looks a bit cleaner overall. Um, the playfield actually is, is really nice to see how old this game is, and I suppose it's been sat stored, so it hasn't a huge amount of play on it. Uh, but the playfield's in, in decent shape. If it wasn't for that one insert uh, that's that's there with the damage, it would be pretty much spot on. Um, but it should look good when it's done. Uh, I need to get get this back in the game, um, which will be one of the next jobs. Uh, and then I think the only other bit so far to have a quick look at, um, have I done anything on the cabinet? I don't think so. I'm just repainting at the moment, I'm just repainting the heads of the, uh, where are they? There's two bolts on either side. I'm not sure if you can see that. They go in here. Uh, it's what the playfield support sits on. So when I got the game, the bolts were there, but they weren't bolted in on the other side. The bolts were just sticking through with no nut on, so they were a bit sort of bent over. Um, I've got some spare nuts, and I've just repainted the heads because they were a bit rusty. So they are going all that, and it's seat, seat the play field. And then, oh yeah, and then of course, I've given the cabinet a bit of a clean. So if you remember from the last video, the cabinet inside was filthy, like really, really dirty, obviously from being sat for a long time. And also the lockdown bar was pretty, pretty manky. So I took the lockdown bar out, uh, took it to pieces, lockdown bar receiver I should say, took it to pieces and have uh, used the Dremel with some sanding wheels to get all the major crud off it. Again, it's not absolutely perfect super shiny, but it's a damn sight better than it was and it's plenty good enough for, for what I want to do with this game. Um, so that's nice to try it. And then <laughs> with the, the usual baby wipes, which I seem to be using to clean everything in this game, um, I went through and cleaned all the insides of the cabinet on both sides and mainly the base of the cabinet after I give it a hoover uh, picked all the bits of metal and screws and stuff out and then give it a bit of a wipe down. Um, 
it probably won't look that different on the video but in person it's a massive difference it was so dirty there was like a layer of, like a thick layer of dust and filth on it before um, so that's all gone I think that's about it so far I'm going to carry on cleaning the switch harnesses um, it's the only other thing to show I showed before there's uh, boxes of parts under here a few new bags these are the parts off the bottom of the play field pretty much everything off the bottom of the play field is now cleaned up I've got a little bit more work to do picking through the stuff that's come out of the tumbler but other than that that's all the all the parts that have been cleaned and that box there is new parts so new star posts uh, flipper rebuild kits all that kind of stuff um, so I'm going to crack on with more cleaning of the harnesses and get the play field in the game and then we'll come back and see where we are so the play field's back in the game just just for now just to get it out of the way really um, as you can see, I have for now reattached all of the P-clips, so all of these. Uh, everything is back on for that, and I've also put the side rails back on. If I lower the play field, actually, you can see it a bit better. Um, so the side rails are back on. Um, they were in pretty good nick already, to be fair. The only thing I did, um, I actually used black shoe polish, like a sponge applicator, and just went over them just to sort of bring the, the black shine back a little bit. And then I've also refitted the backboard that got taken to bits um, and give it a good clean and a bit of a polish up as well, just on the, just on the paintwork to make it look a bit nicer. Um, so that's kind of now waiting uh, for the first of the harnesses to go back on. Um, they're still down on the floor over here. Um, I've cleaned the lamp harness, which is this first one here. So I've gone over it with, uh, with baby wipes um, just to clean it all up. And I've also buzzed out the... Uh, the lamp sockets with uh, I've got a, la a special lamp cleaning tool and then a Dremel so the lamp cleaning tool gets the, the sort of I don't know if you can see that gets the little middle prong bit down in the bottom and then the Dremel gets the outer edges so that'll make the lamps uh, make nice and good contact uh, one thing I, I do need to fix on this is where is it there so this is the connector that came off that dodgy relay board that had been hacked underneath um, and there's a couple of wires so I need to put a new connector on that that's not too bad and then the only other thing done so far is all of the small metal parts for the bottom of the playfield are out of the tumbler. And this is what I do to uh, sort of organise them so it makes it a bit easier when putting things back together. So on this, this is the lid off one of the tubs, um, I've sort of organised all the little tiny screws, nuts, bolts, little springs and washers and everything into sort of the same bits basically. So then when I look back through the photos and I start reassembling things, um, it makes it a hell of a lot easier just to pick from the, the various different piles. Um, it makes it a lot simpler. So there's all sorts of different types of screws, but it's it's quite therapeutic, about 10 minutes just to organise all this, mainly this type of, there's a lot of these what type uh, for attaching things to the bottom of the playfield. So I think I'm probably going to start rebuilding some of the lower playfield mechs that can be built off the game. So the drop target banks and the pop bumpers, just because it will use up some of these parts uh, and thin it down a bit so that makes it a bit easier when putting stuff actually back onto the bottom of the play field. So we'll have a bit of a play with that and we'll come back. Most of the major mechanisms have now been put back together. You can see them on the on the side here. So we've got the the rebuilt pop bumper mechanisms. Um, obviously they need bolt into the game, the wiring redoing, but uh, they're fully fully rebuilt. Um, I have swapped out, the, the game originally had white pop bumper wafers, so these things here. Um, I think red will look better, to be honest. They've got red bumper caps, um, and there's some bits of red on the play field in that area, so it should match up quite nicely. Uh, the drop target banks have been rebuilt. These haven't come up too bad. The only thing I'm slightly disappointed with is the actual drop targets. Now I could, uh, and I may do in the future, repro some stickers for these. They're not too bad. Uh, but they've got a sort of uh, staining on them or something. It probably, I'm not sure it will show up that easily. Um, that I couldn't get off no matter cleaning. I didn't want to go too mad with the various novuses and stuff because I didn't want to take the text off. Um, so I may repro the stickers at some point, but for now they're they're good enough. Uh, and then the only other bits, the slingshots. You've got like this sort of um, linear. Not, they're not linear style, uh, but that this sort of style slingshot, sort of older bally style slingshot. Uh, they've come up really really nice. Whether these plastic bots were originally bright white back in the day, I don't know if they've, um, a bit like the ramp that's kind of gone a bit yellowy brown, they've gone a bit yellowy brown, but they're all good. And then the ball kicker as well. Um, so major bits redone, and at the moment I am working on the lamp harness and the switch harness.
Switch harness and lamp harness are now back onto the play field. Um, you can still see the, the solenoid and flusher harness over there. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, so everything has been reattached. Um, I've soldered most of the things that I cut. So if you remember from a, one of the other videos, to get the uh, lamp harness off, I had to cut it away from this, these stapled areas here. That's all been soldered back in. Um, and also soldered to the, so you can't really see it there, to the switch stack as well. Um, I fitted the rebuilt pop bumpers or the bottom section of them. Uh, there's still a little bit of warranty. You can see some loose wires here. They just need attaching to the same switch stack. But everything else is everything else has gone back on. I've even put the uh, the lamp boards have gone back on as well. Um, they've been cleaned up uh, and also serviced. So I've just gone over all the connectors with a fiberglass pencil and reflowed solder where it needed it. Um, you can see some of the mechanisms going back on as well. So flipper base plates have been put back in place, ready for when the uh, when the, the final harness goes on. And also um, a lot of the trough area, because uh, there's lots of switches in that area that all need attaching to little metal brackets and stuff. So that's all gone back on as well. So bottom of the playfield looking pretty good actually. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it's coming along so far. And then the final harness to put back on is the solenoid and the flasher harness. This has now been cleaned, uh, so it's ready to go back on. Um, but before I do that, I will swap out things like end of stroke switches and stuff like that, and the flippers. Um, but other than that, it's ready to ready to go. Um, once this is on, the, this final harness, that will be pretty much the bottom of the game done. So the playfield can then go back into the cabinet, and we can start looking at the top side of the playfield. Um, so I think that'll do for this video. Uh, I'm going to carry on fitting these harnesses, uh, and then when we come back in the next video, this should be back in the game. And we can start looking at the, the the more fun bit, the top side of the playfield, where the game really starts to really starts to come back together. So um, thanks very much for watching this video, um, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Cheers.